All right, this is an interesting story. Uh, both of you guys <laughs> played with big-time quarterbacks, Boomer Sison in Cincinnati, mm -hmm. of course, TD, you with John Elway. Yeah, yeah, Bubby. Uh, but <laughs> no, the other guy. Oh, John. The other guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. trying to get you, it right. You did have Bubby. For a, for a chunk of time. What's I that did. like when you go from Bubby. a guy like Elway with Bubby, right? to Bubby? It's interesting. As a player, the one thing you cannot do when you have a backup quarterback is try to do too much, right? Mm -hmm. you, do your job, but don't try to do too much. And that's what you, you want to do for the backup quarterback. And, Bubby, I love you to death, but I got to tell the story. So, if John is in the game, the only thing I have to know is my assignment. Right? I don't have to know what the linebackers are John's doing. John's got it. John's got it. As a matter of fact, Stanford I know John graduate. even knows my assignment. Stanford so I'm going to lean on John a few times. Hey, John, what am I doing on this play? Yeah, check through. Okay. Bubby Bristol, though, other hand, you better know your job, <laughs> Bubby's assignment, the receiver's assignment, because he's going to lean on you. Hey, TD, what, what, what do I have on this play? What are you, what are you doing? So the difference is you got John who's already understands the entire offense, defense, everything, and Bubby, that's my boy and all, but he did not know everything. And so there were plays where I had to sort of give Bubby a little help on what the play was called. But as far as performance, do your job. That's the best way you can help a backup quarterback. Don't try to do too much. Do your job, though. Yeah, and when you're playing with a backup quarterback, the margin for error is very slim. I mean, when we played with Boomer Esiason, he, he knew everyone's job. Even if he didn't know, he'd tell you that he knew where everyone he was supposed to be. Yeah. There's no doubt about it. I think the real key is, as you said, you can't try to be Tom Brady if you're Jimmy Garoppolo. Right. Don't try to go out and do all the things that Tom would do. And I don't think the coaching staff would expect that from Jimmy Garoppolo. In fact, I expect them to tailor it to what he does. And I expect Bill Belichick to ask the other 52 guys to do their jobs and do it maybe a little bit better. Right. Defense, we're going to need maybe another turnover. We're going to have to lean on the running game. So offensive line, get ready to come off the ball. We're not going to throw the ball 40 or 50 times as we would with Tom Brady in the game. So that's how you play with a backup quarterback. You don't ask him to go out and be the other guy. You don't ask him to be something he's not. You can only ask him to be him. And you did broadcast uh, Jimmy Garoppolo's last game of the season where he got his most right. significant playing time.